Uh... Why is Marinette bringing Luca along? Is she still in love with him? You're just experiencing jealousy, Adrian. I... you think so? So that's why he wanted to see me. When he said his feelings had changed, what he meant was he's with Kagami. Well, at least the situation's clear now. Stop jumping to conclusions. Marinette, Luca, are you guys together? Yes, that's right. We're more together than ever. Uh, I'm happy for you two. Marinette? Well, I mean... Together. We came together is what I mean. How about you guys? I'm so glad to see that you guys patched things up. I knew you two were meant for each other. Marinette, you know perfectly well that Adrian and I are only just friends now. All right, we'll leave you two together now. Enjoy the visit. I still can't hear a tune. I need you please, Luca. Thank you, Kagami. You're welcome, but I'm staying. You'll probably still need me. Hello, Veronique. Adrian! Did we have an appointment? Is there a problem with your statue? No, Veronique. I just came with my friends for fun. Oh, excellent! If you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. Hmm? Veronique, you have an appointment with Mayor Bourgeois in five minutes. Very well, Alliance. I'd better hurry. We're discussing something new for the museum. But it's still a secret. I'll invite you all to the opening of this new hall. I can't wait for everyone to see it. Isn't she so great? Why don't we start in the Hall of Columns? Remember when you mistook me for a statue, Marinette? Uh, yeah! I remember really well. So well that maybe we should actually go check out another statue. What do you say? You kissed me. Ugh. Yes! Oh, no! Why, well, you call it a kiss, but it's the statue I almost kissed. It was more of a miss than a kiss. <laughs> I thought you were made of wax. My lips did get very close, but technically, you can't really call it a kiss. What's the official distance for a kiss, anyway? Adrian's problem is that he doesn't realize his feelings for Marinette are love. I think it's because he's a kind and generous person. He loves everyone, and everyone loves him back. He's lost in a jungle of love. He can't read the signals Marinette sends him. That's true. Learning to read Marinette's signals is a complex endeavor. It took me a lot of time. And you leap backwards to stand at a respectful distance! I get it, mind you. It was awkward. I don't think I was feeling awkward. More like surprised. Not by what you were doing, but by how I was feeling. And how I was feeling was... Do not finish that sentence under any circumstance! Ah! to be alone. Maybe I can never be myself with anyone. Maybe I should just give up being in love! Well, I think you may have more in common with Adrian than you think. Trust in yourself for once. Feeling jealous? I don't know. All I know is that I'd like to be in Luca's place. Then you should take his place. I will not let you display this room. My daughter, I mean the people of Paris, could get acomatized. This will remind them of Ladybug and Cat Noir's disastrous failure following the disastrous loss of the miraculous that Ladybug was supposed to be guarding. And this may lead to many more disastrous disasters. Just the thought of it is harrowing enough. Did I mention how disastrous this could be? Now, Mr. Mayor, not opening this hall would be disastrous for people's hope. I'm sure Ladybug will get the miraculous back and the superheroes will come back. What if Ladybug fails over and over? What if we never see those superheroes again? Trust me, politics is about adapting uh, to the times, and the times are telling us to throw all these away. You're wrong. These times call for hope. I will show these statues no matter what. You won't if I have your museum shut down due to hygiene problems. There are no hygiene problems here. Then there are no superhero statues. No statues, no hygiene problems. It's the status quo. <laughs> <laughs> 